Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Epic Knowledge. So in this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can show or download PDF file in Laravel. So here you can see we have a lot of data over here and we will have a download PDF option over here uh, just at the side of this deliver column and we will have a button called print and if you click on that button then a PDF file download for those uh, for a specific column or for a specific row actually. So in order to see or in order to download a PDF file in Laravel we need to uh, follow a few steps uh, which I already write down in the notepad over here uh, PDF download or PDF showing laravel so there is only two step over here and that is actually really simple don't worry the first step is uh, we need to write a command to our project directory and the second step is we need to go to our config slash app.php and we need to make some changes uh, make these changes in the providers and make write this in the alias which is inside this location so this is actually really simple so first of all uh, i'll just go to my project directory and open a cmd over here so this is my project directory and let me just uh, copy this command which is composer require uh, berry vda slash laravel minus dom pdf i can't even uh, spell this so uh, let's just paste the command over here composer require berry vda slash laravel minus dom pdf uh, don't worry i'll also give this command in the first comment so that you can just copy it out from there so i'll just press enter and it will just install install a package for pdf and it will take a few seconds so there you go it is done uh, this package is installed to our project so right now our second step is we need to go to our config slash app.php so in our project here you can see we have a config folder and inside config here you can see app.php so i'll go there and uh, then we need to go to our this providers part code part so let me just go down and here you can see we have this provider part over here and we'll just go at the end of this providers part and let me just copy this part very is dom uh, this one don't worry i'll also give this code in the comment section so that you can just copy it out so let me just copy this one only uh, which is inside the providers uh, you just need to copy this one and you need to paste it over here and after that we if we go a little bit down here you can see we have aliases i think there is supposed to be a few more line inside the aliases but uh, okay i don't think it's fine i think uh, maybe it's a new update uh, so uh, what we'll do is that we'll just copy this line control c and we are going to paste it inside the aliases I think there is supposed to be a few more line inside the aliases but uh, maybe this is a new update or if your aliases part is like me then uh, you can just do it or if your aliases part is not like me like uh, if you have uh, like a few more like line over here uh, then just add this line at the end okay so just save it and uh, our this part is done our two step is done so after this we can just close this app.php so right now what we'll do is that we'll have a column over here called print pdf and we'll have a button called print or pdf something so uh, after this deliver part we'll have the columns so let me just go to my raw resource then views and inside views we'll go to admin and inside admin we have our order.plate.php which is this view so here uh, after this deliver part let me just copy it and paste it here and here i am going to say print pdf print pdf so and uh, if i now refresh here you can see we have a column called print pdf now let's say add a button for every row so for it here you can see we have the for each loop over here we show all the data and uh, after this td this td is for the deliver button so after this td we will have another td for the print pdf and inside this td we are going to mention a anchor tag and uh, over here let's say here print pdf and uh, let's say here inside the anchor tag we are going to mention a bootstrap class let's say btn btn let's say secondary it's just a design secondary let's just refresh here 
Okay, I did a spelling mistake. It will be A C uh, C O N D A R Y. Let's refresh again, and there you can see we have a pin PDF button over here. So, how do you on? If we click this pin PDF button, a PDF will be downloaded for a specific row. So, that is simple. Uh, so, for it, uh, here you can see we have the anchor tag. Uh, here you can see we have the href. So, inside this href, we will mention a URL. We'll say URL to first bracket to single position and let's say here URL name will be print underscore PDF and uh, we want to print whatever button we click uh, it will print the data of that specific row so for it we need to send the ID of that row so for it here you can see that in order to show the name we write it over here dollar order name email like this so here uh, after this single quotation, we'll give a comma over here. Then we'll say over here dollar order. This arrow sign will say here ID. So let's save it. Control S. Right now we'll go to our web.php and create this URL or route. So let's go to our route then web.php. And here let me just copy this URL. Control C then Control V. And over here our URL name was print underscore PDF. So here we are going to say print underscore PDF and we will have the ID because we are sending ID from here. And we'll use the admin controller and the function name will be let's say print PDF. The same thing, uh, it's easier to remember. So right now we'll go to admin controller and create this function. So let's go to our app, HTTP controller and then admin controller. So uh, let's go down and here we are going to say public function print pdf and we need to cache the id that we are sending from here so we'll say over here dollar id then we'll give to second bracket and from here we want to print a pdf file so in order to print the pdf file what we have to do is that we need to go at the top of our controller and we need to add over here use pdf so we need to write this in capital so right now if we use this you'll be able to print pdf from this controller so let's go down and here uh, in order to print the pdf let's just first declare a variable let's say dollar pdf equal to we'll say here pdf double clone we'll say load view the view will be capital then we'll give to first bracket then we'll give to single quotation and let's say here admin dot uh, let's say pdf then uh, in order to download the pdf obviously uh, in the admin folder we do not have this pdf.blade.psc we will create it obviously and uh, this pdf load view will make that blade file into a pdf file okay so that is simple this line will make the blade file into a pdf file so i hope you are clear then in order to print the pdf file we have to say return then we'll say here dollar pdf and this dollar pdf is this one so we are making this uh, pdf.blade.php into a pdf file and storing it in this dollar pdf variable then we'll say over here this arrow sign download then we'll give to first bracket to single quotation and we need to mention over here uh, in which name you want to download the pdf file you want the user to download the pdf file so let's say over here order underscore detail details so what will happen is that the pdf file uh, download name will be this one so right now uh, what we'll do is that we'll go to our admin folder and create a pdf.blade.php so for it here you can see this is our admin folder let me just right click over here then click new file and here i'm going to say pdf.blade.php so save it Control s and then save so let's just uh, say simple HTML over here and let's say title will be order PDF and in the body let's just for now let's just say simple thing uh, let's say this is a PDF file so let's save it so uh, let me just explain it from the beginning so here you can see this is our order.blade.php and this is our print PDF button which is uh, this one so home so whenever someone click on this print pdf button then it will call this url in the web.php with this id so and our web.php will call the admin controller uh, this function in the admin controller print pdf and will come over here in the admin controller this function and then from here uh, we are calling to this 
here which is admin.pdf which is this one this is a pdf file uh this view and we are making that view into a pdf using this line and then we are making this file download so uh, i hope up until now we are clear we haven't used the id up until now but we'll do it later let's just make sure uh, you understand up until now so right now if we just refresh here and if we just click on this pdf file it will download a pdf file and that file name will be order underscore details so here if i just click on this print pdf here you can see a pdf file is downloaded okay this doesn't look like a pdf file so let me just check in the code uh, okay here you can see download order details so we need to make sure uh, we need to write the file extension over here and the file extension will be dot pdf okay so we need to write the extension dot pdf after this name so let's save it and let me just close this and let's refresh again and let's just click over here print pdf and here you can see a pdf file is printed and if i click over here so here you can see this is a pdf file so you can see that this is actually really simple it is just converting this simple html file into a pdf file using this and uh, we are downloading that pdf file so right now what we want is that we want to download the specific raw data uh, whenever we click on this print pdf button so this is actually really simple so over here uh, if you go to our order plate.php here you can see that we have this button print pdf and we are sending the order id from here and we are catching the order id in the web.php over here you can see and then we are calling the admin controller print pdf function which is this one and over here we are catching the id so here we are going to declare a variable let's say dollar order equal to we are going to say that table name which is order and here you can see all, all the data over here is coming from the order table here you can see our table name is order and all the data is uh, over here so we are going to mention the table name then we are going to say here find to first bracket then we will say here dollar id so we will find the specific order row from the database i mean from the table then uh, how to will do is that we we'll say over here comma so uh, over here admin dot pdf after this single quotation we will say over here comma compact then here we will give two single quotation and here we are going to say order and this order is this one so we are getting the specific row then we are storing it in this order variable and we are sending this order data to this view admin dot pdf view which is over here this one so here let me just uh, remove this okay let's just say over here uh, in this h on tag order details and after this h on tag let's say here h3 tag and inside this h3 tag uh, here we are sending the order data from over here so we'll give two second bracket and we'll say over here dollar order then this arrow sign and from here we are sending this order that's why uh, this order is this one and we want to let's say uh, print something from here uh, which is let's say name we want to print the name so in the order table um, the name is name so here we are just going to say here name so right now if we save it then if we just refresh here then let's click this one here you can see the name is yamin so if i just click on print pdf here you can see a pdf is downloaded and if i click over here here you can see the name over here which was yamin uh, for this one so just like this we can print every data over here email address phone payment status delivery status every data we have in this order table for a specific row so let's just go back and uh, let's let's also print every data let me just copy it and let's just print it let's say uh, let's say nine times on two three four five six seven eight and nine so after name let's let me just check in the table here you can see we have name email phone address product title product underscore title like this so we are going to say over here okay let's just add a design over here let's see here customer name we will give this double clone and let me just copy this one Control c and i'm going to paste it for this four 
so let's say after name we have email so let's say here email then let's say here phone then we are going to say here address and in the table we also have the user id so let's also say here uh, user id as well let's say here user underscore id uh, let me check we write it over here user underscore id and here let's say just customer id and after customer details let's have the product details so here uh, the product title quantity price image then we also have payment status we will not uh, print the delivery status so here uh, let's say here product product then we'll give this uh towel clone okay let's remove this one so here the first one is product name so let's say here product name or and in the table we write it over here like this pro dot underscore title here if you check the table over here you can see product underscore title so we also have the product price let's say over here price then we have the product quantity quantity let's say here quantity then let's also say here payment payment underscore status and here we are going to say payment status payment status in the table we write payment status like this and let's say we also get the product id as well this id and uh, we write the product id product underscore id like this and uh, we also have the image over here but we'll uh, do the image part a little later so right now let's save it and let's just refresh here and let's uh, do this for let's say this this t-shirt for this user so let's just click print pdf and a pdf file is downloaded if i just click on it here we can see the customer name customer email customer phone number customer address uh, every details about customer and every details about the product and uh, right now let's print the product image uh, from here as well so for printing the image all we have to do is that we need to use the image tag then in the source we have to say now all the product image we store in the uh, public product folder over here you can see inside public folder we have a uh, folder called product and inside this product folder we have the all the product images so we need to say over here product and do not give any slash before it otherwise you will not be able to get the image then we'll give a slash over here then we'll give two second bracket then we'll say over here dollar order this arrow sign will say image and let's also mention the image height and width let's say height will be uh 250 and width will be let's say 450 let's save it and let's just say over here a br tag br tag will create a gap br and br save it then let's just refresh here and uh, let's choose uh, let's say this image uh, this laptop one let's click print pdf and a pdf is downloaded if i just click on it here you can see all the details and we can also see the product image over here as well so you can design this space as much as possible if you want so i think this is fine so this is how you can print PDF file in Laravel. I hope you learned something new in this tutorial. And if you have any confusion or any question, you can let me know in the comment section or you can mail me as well. And I'll also give my social Facebook link in the description. You can follow me there. And if you have face any critical problem, you can message me in my Facebook account. I mean messenger. And uh, if this tutorial was helpful, then I will actually really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. So thanks again for watching. Stay tuned and stay healthy.